Hey guys, what's up? James here from Embark, and today I wanted to give you my five reasons why I moved to Scotland. So back in May, me and my fiance Sophie, we moved from England to Scotland, and there is five reasons why we did so. So one, finances. Two, lifestyle. Three, travel. Four, land. Five, opportunity. So now let's dig into each of these. So first off, finances. So here's where we were living before, in Bracknell. So despite it being a less desirable place to live compared to Ascot or Windsor, for instance, it still has excellent train links to London and is 30 minutes drive from Heathrow. And due to its proximity to more affluent areas, house prices and rent is unaffordable for many. Now, because me and my fiance are co-owners of our business Embark, all of our work's online, so we didn't actually need to be there. We were just there because it was close to our family. But the two bed flat that we were renting at the time was having a price increase from 1,250 per calendar month up to 1,400 per calendar month and it wasn't a jump that we were willing to pay. And although there were cheaper places in the area, none of them had the space that we were after, the space that we needed. So a few years prior to this, we actually had considered moving to Scotland and we you know, seriously looked into it, but at the time we couldn't do it and then um, COVID hit and obviously we couldn't sort of make it happen at that point either, but we knew we had to go at some point. So we pushed ourselves and we just went for it. So we planned a trip in March, we booked our flights, we booked some property viewings, we hit the ground running. We have very close friends in Scotland and we've been there and visited sort of five, six times over the previous five or so years. So we had a kind of good idea about where we wanted to check out, what sort of properties in what area we wanted. So we weren't starting from scratch, we kind of had an idea to go off of. With a few viewings and eventually finding some off-market property through a property developer, we managed to get ourselves a two bed, two bath, um, flat for 650 per calendar month. And it's, it's great, very spacious, spacious enough for us to live comfortably and work comfortably, which was the overall goal. And with that massive reduction in rent, it was definitely in the price range that we we're after as well. Reason two, lifestyle. We are a very active couple. We both work out five to six times a week. We do a small walk every single day and a decent one to two hour walk or hike sort of once a week, sometimes twice a week. We love being outdoors, close to water and having great views. And Scotland has this in abundance and we've been making the most of it, especially as uh, Scotland's been having pretty much a better summer than England as well down south. So that has been fantastic for us. And this sort of lifestyle just isn't prevalent down south unless you live in some very specific areas. There are a few but not many. Where we are here, we're on the border of Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park, which is 720 square miles of lot, mountains, rivers, and forests. And due to the population hubs of Scotland, 50% of the population are within a one hour drive of this area. So it's extremely accessible for a ton of people living in Scotland. And this is the sort of lifestyle that we were after where you can hike a Munro in the morning and you could be swimming in the lock in the afternoon if you wanted to. Third reason is travel. So this kind of links in with finances um, as well, but we love traveling and we want to continue traveling. So sometimes we go away for a week, sometimes it could be a month or two. You know, we want to do that more often. We want to continue doing that and you can do so because the rent is so much cheaper up here. The living costs, the house prices, everything's cheaper. So it gives you those finances that you're after in order to travel. So this means we'll be able to go away potentially more frequently or if not, we can save a bit of money and go away on a more expensive sort of destination holiday. Um, you know, perhaps to a trip around Japan or, you know, a one-off trip to Hawaii or something like that. So it gives you those options. Yeah, this was possible where we were living previously, but it's just easier up here because of that reduction in living costs. And with Glasgow International Airport just 20 minutes away from us, we're not even going to miss out on being near Heathrow because there's a huge amount of flights going from Glasgow. It's it's a decent sized airport. So wherever we need to get to, we can get to from there. And it's 20 minutes away. Four, land. We have a bit of money saved up in investments and things like that, but it's not enough to 
hit our long-term plan, our long-term goal, which is to build a, to do a self-build, a bespoke house for us to live in. Now, after living here for a few years, we might decide that actually this isn't the place that we sort of want to settle down and have a house. We might potentially want to move back south. Who knows? But if we do want to stay here, we definitely do want to do a self-build build our own house with the cost of labor and materials it's actually slightly cheaper up here but the big factor is the land prices land is abundant here and therefore cheap relatively In theory we should be able to get more land for our money more bang for our buck or alternatively have more money in order to build a sort of higher spec property um, if we want to and as i said labor and materials are a little bit cheaper up here only a little bit cheaper but if you're building a whole house that can add up and that can make a big difference finally reason number five opportunity the amount of new business and economic growth in scotland is actually unmatched in the uk at the time of research scotland has the top five counties in the uk for job vacancies with aberdeen leading the way with 279 percent increase scotland has the fourth biggest average salary per region behind the east of england southeast of england and london but its average salary had the biggest annual increase of 4.6 percent large companies moving infrastructure and building infrastructure in Scotland is becoming more frequent. Barclays have built a brand new hub in central Glasgow and they've built it to accommodate their technology, functions and operations team. And as I said, this is becoming more frequent. With this infrastructure, Barclays has brought more than 2,000 jobs to central Glasgow. And that's just one example. And with this in mind, we thought it would be a great place to um, drum up new business, scale our company, potentially hire employees and build out an office for us. And once you combine all five of the reasons that I've just listed, we made a pretty convincing argument for packing up everything we owned into a van and driving it up to Scotland. And that's exactly what we did. So that's it guys. Any questions you'd like to ask us about Scotland, about the move up here, anything like that, just let me know in the comments below and I will answer them for you. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel because we'll have new videos coming out every single week. I've been James from Bark and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.